Hey everyone, this is Lindsay and David from Everyday Disney Magic. We hope you're all having a magical week. Hope you're enjoying the Super Bowl, and if you're watching this later, hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully your team won. Yes, hopefully. Um, so what we're going to talk about first is our first blog post of the week. And our first blog post was actually on Disney's Love Struck Mickey. This is a Lennox figurine. And as you can see, Mickey is holding a sparkly heart in his hands. And it almost looks as though he is giving the heart to you. Um, David actually got this for me one Valentine's Day. And it was just such a cute little figurine. I was so happy to get it. And this is a perfect... Valentine's present for your loved one that you have. Um, and let me just show you the back too. I'll just turn it around. And that's how it looks. It's not that large. It's pretty petite, but it's just a perfect gift for someone that loves Disney and a perfect way to bring the magic of Disney home. Uh, you can find Lennox at I don't know, some Hallmark stores. Uh, I don't know, different stores. Lennox has other stores yeah, as well. Lennox Outlet stores too. It's a good place to get it. Yeah, where you can get it for a discounted. reduced, yeah, a discounted price. Our next blog post of the week was on the Disney Side app. Um, it's something that you can find in the iTunes Store, the App Store, and it's a free app that you can download onto your iPhone or onto your iPad. Right? You can download it on your iPad, too. Yes. Um, and it's a great app. It's really fun to play around with. I'm just going to show you it. Um, this is the app. When you go inside, this is how it looks. Okay. Now, in it, you'll see it says Disney side, and it says choose your Disney side. You can en choose Enchanted Tales with Belle. You can choose Toy Story, Midway Mania, Seven Dwarfs, Mine Train, Frozen Fun, Star Tours, Pirates of the Caribbean, Villains of the Disney Parks, Haunted Mansion, and that's all of our choices. Now, which one should I show them an example of? Which one would be neat? I don't know, but I believe the Haunted Mansion, you have to unlock that by going to uh, either, I guess, Walt Disney World or Disneyland, and then it mm -hmm. could be... That's right. One of the hitchhikers. So which one should I try out? Should I try out Seven Dwarfs and sure. I'll do Snow White and um, Doc? Try those two? If you'd like. Okay. Let's see how this works. Okay, so what I'm going to do, it comes when I want to do Snow White. Let me just show you. So I'm going to press on Snow White. Okay. And now I'm going to take a picture of myself. Okay, I took a picture. Okay. It matches your eyes and your mouth. Yep. So that has to line up. And now I press the check mark. And... Showing your Disney Ah, oh, there's Mia Snow White. Now if you <laughs> click it, I believe there's some animation to it. Yeah. <laughs> it's there. really silly. Now let's see Mia's doc. You can change pictures. Uh, oh, yeah. Use the same sure. picture. But change the characters. So let's say I want to change the frame. Well, that you can do too. I can change it to like a witch behind me. Or I can change it to these little animals in the forest. Okay. Now, if I want to change the character, I can do that by pressing the character down here. Doc. I'm going to change myself to Doc. It's going to be funny. That's me as dog. I think it's a pretty accurate picture, if you ask me. <laughs> so, it's pretty funny. And then this is me as the queen. Okay? So, it's kind of funny to play around with. It's just a fun app. You can have fun with it and show your Disney side with it. It's a good party uh, app to bring out the Disney side in the party. Yeah, definitely. It's fun. Our next blog post was about the Under the Sea Journey of the Little Mermaid ride in Magic Kingdom. That was featured as our Riding Rides Wednesday. Um, we also have another channel called Riding Rides, and on that, it's a bunch of ride throughs, and this week we featured that one. Yeah. Um, it's a great ride, it's a dark ride, 
Uh, it's animation. It. It's pretty. Um, it's pretty high technology. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Uh, it's a little story. That's pretty much the whole Bill Mermaid story. And you sit there clamming. Start to finish. Yeah, it's definitely a cool video. To check out. Uh, let us know what you think about it, and if you've been on it, or if you, you know, have any thoughts about it. Let us know. Yeah, let us know what you think. Our next blog that we talked about was these Mickey-shaped veggie chips. <laughs> They're obviously good health. Uh, enjoy being good, um, as you can really see nice. right here. Uh, if you ever seen the what is it, like straws, they're kind of vegetable fries. Veggie straws. That's yeah. what they taste like. Yeah, they're really good, actually. And um, you can find them in your local supermarket. We found them at Shoprite, so I'm sure other supermarkets have them. They're called Mickey shaped veggie chips, and they're a great way to bring the Disney magic home. And you can eat them whenever you want a snack for your Super Bowl party. <laughs> you could be eating these. Um, or for any party you have, or whenever you want to. It's great to give the kids for snacks for lunch. Yeah. For packing them. Mm -hmm. And it's definitely a good way I'll to... I'll show you, actually, all the different chips that they have. It's a great way to uh, spice up your lunch. To make it Disney. Fine. And it's a little bit... It's also, a, um, you know, it's not completely healthy, but it's healthier than other snacks that you would eat. So, Regular great way. Chips. Yeah. Definitely check them out. Yeah. Uh, oh. Hold on, let's hold off. <laughs> We're yeah. still enjoying our veggie chips, our Mickey shaped veggie chips. We'll be right back. <laughs> our next blog of the week was about this Mickey trophy that David actually got for me one year when we were dating. It says best girlfriend now of his wife. So, but I still love it. I still keep it um, on a shelf in our house. And it was from the Magic Kingdom. Um, it's a really neat gift to give someone, like a loved one. And it's a really special gift. And I'm sure anyone that loves Disney would really appreciate a gift like this. Um, I know I did very much. Here's, uh, obviously, you don't have to get just best girlfriend. There were several others. Uh, best husband, parents, brother, sister, cousins, friends. Uh, you could also get... This one was from Magic Kingdom, but they also sold them at Hollywood Studios uh, back then. Um, I also noticed them when we went to Disney um, California Adventure Park in Cars Land. I noticed um, trophies there, too, that you could get. Yeah, it's definitely a good way to, you know... Bring the magic of Disney home. Yeah, make them feel special. Yeah. It's Mickey. Our next blog post was about... The beautiful Brito Bell. And um, Brito uses very um, vibrant colors in his art. As you can see, look at her hair. It has like orange stripes in it. And her dress is um, different colors. And the colors just pop. And that's what I love about Brito art. And it's a great way to decorate your home and bring the magic of Disney home. Uh, Brito is actually a Brazilian artist. Uh, currently living in, I believe, Miami. And what we found out is he actually donates a lot of money and time to charity, mm -hmm. which is also good. We've been told, I don't know how true it is, but every purchase you get from, I don't know if it's just Disney or whatnot, uh, a certain percentage of that sale goes to charity, which whenever you could give to charity is always a good thing, especially yeah. with Disney. And you can get a beautiful piece like this that you can display in your home. It's very detailed as well. Very detailed. And like I said, the colors just pop on it. It's beautiful. Our next blog post was about these Mickey Mouse plastic and cork coasters. These coasters were found at a flea market in our area. Um, flea markets are good places to buy some cheap, inexpensive Disney items. Mm -hmm. um, also, thrift shops are also a good place to find, especially if you live in the Orlando area or Anaheim. I'm sure you could find some really yeah. nice Disney stuff. I would definitely check that out. And even if you're 
No, not in that area. Definitely check it out once in a while because you never know what can pop up. Yep. And you find this hidden treasure like this. Right. And you can use these to put a glass of water on, soda, iced tea, whatever Princess you want. Cups. <laughs> yeah, I use it for my Rapunzel cup and my other cups that I have. Yeah. And it's great for a Super Bowl as well. And yeah. Another mm -hmm. way to bring out some Disney in a Super Bowl. Yep, and bring the Disney magic home. So that was this week's review of our blog posts. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and comment below on what you thought of this week's post. And let us know if you share our interests and what you have. Yeah, and also don't forget to check out our other channel, Riding Rides, and experience the attractions from your own home. And have a magical week.